Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we're going to go over how to recruit everyone in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Let's get started. And we are going to start with the first one, Ash. Ash Javi, Ash Yavi. Uh, she's over here. Rambler's Ridge is to the east over there. So if you're in Rambler's Ridge, head out to the west. You do have to cross the river. Jump over here, look for the droid, and Yavi will be there. Next, we'll recruit Toa. I'm doing this in the order I got them, by the way. You can find her in the Basalt Rift, the Basalt Rift Meditation Point. You also probably see her during one of the main quests, so if you missed her, just wait for that. And once you find her, basically all you need to do is talk to her. She will give you a side quest to find a Meditation Chamber, which you might have found on your own already. And then, yeah, she'll basically be like, okay, well, I'll head to Rambler's Reach, and then you can find her in the Cantina. Next, head to Scuva, or, head, my bad, next is Scuva Steve. You'll need the mount ability, so you'll need a creature to go up that slope. And then right here, Scuva will be chilling out fishing, chat with him, and he'll join you. And he'll help you find fish, too. Right after Scuva, actually, literally right across from where you find him, you will find an abandoned shack. And there's actually a side quest here, too, which you need the air dash to complete that. But break this and head down, and there will be a droid right here. Chat with that one, and it will go back to the base. Uh, there's some Bedlam Raiders, so be ready for that. And hey, we're almost at 200,000, so hey, if you would hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. Next is the Boiling Bluff one. This is like, it's a Wampa, so heal up. But you will need the mount, and what you're going to want to do is heal up at the meditation point, use the mount nearby, run and jump. Just do it better than I did. Want to come at it a different angle. Boom, right there. Kill this trash. Uh, this balloon thing, don't worry about it. That's a later game upgrade, so just cross the little pillars. Once you cross over, defeat the Wampa, and then chat with the guys up on the ridge, and they will return, and a new mini game will be open up at Rambler's Reach. I don't think you can actually miss Feely. She's the next one, and she's on Jetta, the next planet. But this is she's over by the Pilgrim's Path, yeah, Pilgrim's Path in the Blustery Mesa. There's a puzzle and a crypt you need to do. And you can't do it until you climb up the mountain. So as you're climbing up the mountain, you will run into Peely. Chat with her, and she will go back to your base and open up the garden for you. Next is Weenie, and she's in the swamp. You can't really miss her either. She, like, literally is part of the story. But you can't recruit her until you beat her side quest. And you need the Force Lift ability. Come over here and then lift up that pillar. Dash over, climb to the top. Run, jump, dash, get lucky, apparently, because I did, and scan this data pad. Head back down, tell her what happened, and she will join up at the cantina, or the saloon. Next, we have got the pit droid. This one was very beginning of the game. Uh, not the beginning, the beginning of Koba, I should say. This guy had his boat stuck in the muck. Use your force lift to pull it out. Go chat with the pit droid and it'll be like, yo, thanks, and join up at the base. And you can find it near your ship, actually. Next is the Jawas. Last, actually, is the Jawas. And you have to go to the bygone settlement for this. And yeah, you need the air dash also. All right, so I have the shortcut, but I won't make... You don't, probably. But if you do, just take the shortcut and then skip a little bit ahead in the video. If not, boom, we're going this way. Run, jump, dash, head up to the ceiling. It's one thing I do like about the game. I forgot that like, you climb on the ceiling, but it's quick. And then drop down, defeat these Bedlam Raiders. Push that. Run, jump. Dash. You might not need to dash that, actually. Climb all the way up and then climb along this, like, net. Down below, the short there is a shortcut and a chest. Get both of those before dashing. Do a dash. Do a better dash than I did. They, I got lucky. Lucky twice, actually, now that I think about it. Now, yeah, we're going to be doing the air dashing, and if you fall, you're going to need to use the shortcut, which sucks, but, hey. It's one big part of the game, parkour. Keep following this path along. Climb along this building and up and through it. Now you go out here. Pull out this, I don't even know what the heck it is, big container, I guess. Big trash can. Run, jump, dash. Swing across. Uh, I made this, yeah. 
it's way easier than what I did. Just get to the wall and run. That's all you have to do. Pull this one back to you. Now you need to basically climb up the trash cans, trash containers. Like that, but let it settle first. I jumped at the wrong time. Pull this one back, wait for it to stop. It will move, so you need to move a little bit quickly. Pull this one, once it's there, run, jump, dash. If you don't need to dash, don't dash, don't get nuts. If you fall at this point, it would really suck. Run, dash, and then as long as you make this jump, you're home free. Climb up, wrap around, get the shortcut, and then kill the uh, soldiers down below, or the stormtroopers, droids, whatever it is, and then chat with the Jawas, and they'll be like, yep, we'll head to the base, or whatever they say. And then, yeah, you can find them in town, and they'll bring one of those electric junction boxes. All right, that'll do it for me. If you liked what you saw, got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.